So virtual production, I mean, it means a lot of things to a lot of people. It's a very broad umbrella. But essentially, at the core of virtual production in this context is, is the real-time games engine. So in this instance, it's Unreal Engine by Epic Games. And it is the representation of those 3D worlds on a giant LED wall to create the illusion or, or sell to the, the viewer that what they are seeing is a location or environment that you're not actually in. We want to see a, a difference in these shadows here, so the, the shadows are getting closer to the value of the car. Unreal is an amazing piece of software because it's real time. You build a digital world and then you can move things around and make changes as you're discussing them rather than give your notes, wait a week and see what the visual effects artists have done. Traditional VFX for movies and film have been done exactly the same way for 20 years. Uh, it's a very linear process. You know, you start with concept, let's say, it might even be concept painting, concept drawing, storyboard, hand-drawn storyboard, then that gets moved down this pipe. And very often, if you want to make a change at any point in that pipe, you kind of have to go all the way back to that point and push it through that pipeline again. When something like Unreal Engine comes along, they take all of those individual aspects of a traditional pipeline that are normally linear and they just put them all into one environment and allow them all to coexist at the same time. So potentially you have production design, lighting design, layout, modeling, animation, all happening at the same time within this one environment. These people can pull their experience and vision together in a way that allows for greater creative freedom through more rapid iteration and feedback and being able to see the results prior to principal photography. So what that does is it takes a process that traditionally might have happened in post-production in visual effects and move it to pre-production. It means you can shoot visual effects straight through the camera. There's no long post-process time afterwards where teams are working on trying to get it to match and everything. We do all of that beforehand now. So you, the time you spend with your production designer figuring out this part and the time you spend with your first AD and your cinematographer working out how you're going to get around the set, you've got to give that level of attention to the virtual asset as well because it's going to be in your principal photography and it's going to be baked into the photography once you've shot it. So the difference between sort of displaying an image or a backdrop to what we're doing here is the tracking of the camera and a parallax through the scene. So as you move the scene, let's say you dolly right to left, as you do that, the scene will change depending on the relative distance of the objects in it. We have a tracker that's associated to the camera, and that tracker is sending a signal out to a, a number of cameras around the set. And they're basically just constantly communicating between each other. It's like, are you right there? Yes, I'm right there. Are you right there? No, I'm not right there. It's a constant back and forth. Not yet. What that means is that you can shoot handheld in front of it with characters in the foreground. The, the flexibility this gives you because of the interactivity of the background content is while you're shooting in the context of your action, you can just say, I want to move that for this shot, and then on next take, remove it. When you start to think about being able to move the world rather than the camera, let's say I want an aerial shot, I can tilt the world and film that rather than tilting the camera. Once you're in the digital world, you can do whatever you want. It's infinitely malleable. You can do anything. And for me, this was a way of taking what I would have done as a visual effects artist and bringing it really onto the set 